I'm Chris Cowan in uh, uh, Lancaster, California at Occupy AV. Uh, we're 60 miles north of uh, LA. And uh, the reason I'm here is because for four years I sat uh, beating myself up uh, looking for work. I'm unemployed. Uh, I kept sending resume after resume and never getting any responses. And uh, something happened on the Brooklyn Bridge that just caught my attention and, and you know, sparked some interest and some hope in me. Uh, I started seeing people stand up and actually get uh, get fed up with the system and start educating themselves. And uh, I went down to Occupy LA uh, a few days later for the first day of Occupy LA and I really felt a part of something again. I felt like I was an American again. And uh, I left there and came up here and started doing some research as to what, what, what's happened. And uh, man, my eyes are now wide open and I can't shut them. I see the truth. I see that the truth gets deeper and deeper every time I, I, I look at something new. Uh, insider trading, uh, you, you name it, the robo signing, you name it, it is out there and it's been hidden from us for so long. So we did uh, Occupy AV popped up and uh, the, the, the difference I had in Occupy LA was uh, they had city issues and uh, when Occupy AV popped up I've lived here for 26 years and uh, you know, it really, really struck home for me because we do have city issues too. Currently, I own a house that I pay, uh, my mortgage is $296,000 and uh, it's worth $150,000. So, you know, I've lost 50% uh, uh, value of my home because of the situation, you know, the subprime crisis and stuff. Um, I live in a town that... Uh, um, we paid 1.3 million dollars for the very first. We're we're the very first to have our very own spy plane with the same technology that the Predator drone has, uh, in violation of our Fourth Amendment right. Um, it passed City Council. The money passed our City Council uh, unanimously. Three days ago, in our paper, a poll was uh, put out uh, about whether it's 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 approved by the city, the city, the people that live in the city. And an overwhelming 57% said they don't want that plane here. And what do they do with the plane? Uh, they fly over us constantly, nonstop, and uh, take pictures of us in our backyards, just taking surveillance, just just random pictures in a grid-like pattern, and uh, they store that information. And their theory is if a crime is ever committed, they can go back to the day in the storage and pull up the... the, the uh, location and actually witness the crime but in reality what what's going to happen is they're going to appear in our backyard and see that we have x or o or something in our backyard and uh and they're going to have probable cause right there so you know that's that's the fourth amendment is is they have to have uh probable cause in order to uh, issue a search warrant and a video camera is not probable cause uh, random is not probable cause um, we're a test facility for that uh, meaning that they're going to um, use our crime numbers uh, as a success rate to sell this uh, plane to other cities around the world which means if this isn't beneficial or if it doesn't help our police department is going to have to come down harder on the city in order to make those numbers go down so that we can make a profit off of this plane as we sell it. And the reason I say make a profit is because for every plane that's sold to other cities, we get a deduction in our hourly rate. Our hourly rate to fly this thing is $300 an hour. And who pays for that? The city of Lancaster. <laughs> so we pay for our own surveillance. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. and. and, and it, 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 it's uncalled for. It's literally uncalled for. It's it's a violation of our Fourth Amendment right. Um, we live uh, in the test in the prime location of uh, the U.S. military's test facility, which means that 100 percent CEOs, the guys that make the most money in this country, are in our town restricting our airspace. Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop all do their their military test facilities or military aircraft uh, test stuff out here um that restricts our airspace because above our head uh is uh mock fields which means they fly uh, uh faster than the speed of sound um and no commercial planes can be in that mock field so 
we don't have any means of getting a commercial uh, type airplane or uh, airfield out here to actually build our city up. We're, we're locked down by those test facilities and we have 400,000 people and an unemployment rate of 20 percent you know and that's the that's the number that the 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 they've used it's the it's the people that are receiving unemployment unemployment benefits you know so the actual number is probably a lot higher um you know I, i'm estimating you know 50 to 75,000 people in this town are under are unemployed are underemployed you know and then you've got the individuals that are working their butt off because all their uh, fellow employees have been laid off and now they're lifting up you know and doing more for no more pay so you know the whole situation is 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 just out of control um we have global issues we have cities issues we have county issues we have state issues and until we truly become um united in a, a, a people's movement where one person is helping another individual a true people's movement um, nothing will ever change and that's that's why these occupies are amazing is because they're actually just about people getting together and and just hanging out and lifting each other's spirits and uh, making everybody feel human again and it, it's amazing out here I love this I love this moment. I love this time of my life because I know something's going to happen. I know it now. It, it, it's no longer waiting to die. It's waiting to live because we are living right now. That's dope. That's dope. So one question. Um, one constant criticism from the mainstream media is that the occupiers don't have any specific demands and it all seems like a mishmash of issues and whatnot. Uh, have you thought about that? Do you have any response to that? Do you think that there's any legitimacy in that criticism? What, what, what's your take on that one statement? Get money out of politics. Everyone seems to be pointing in the same way. Corporate policy or uh, government policy written for corporate benefit is ruining America. So separating corporates, corporations and governments uh, so that the, the policies are written for the American people again. I think once the policies are written by the Americans for the Americans again, everything will domino effect into fixing everything majority rules again and uh law of the or what is that uh law of the land once that happens we're back on track and we're heading in the right direction but until that happens nothing can change that's peace cool man any last words man so the other occupiers across america educate and the world? yourself educate your friends uh get out to your occupy site support them and and just don't stop researching don't stop looking into the truth because the truth is out there and it's going to set us all free. That's Absolutely. Crazy. Yeah, brother. Thank you, man. No problem. Keep it strong, bro. Absolutely. Cool.